Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we're making low carb chocolate chip cookies. Now I'm using almond flour, which is gonna make the cookies nice and soft. If you like soft cookies, then this is the recipe for you. And I'm also gonna be using date paste, which are dates that I've made a paste out of instead of white sugar and even brown sugar so that the glycemic index stays low and it doesn't spike your blood sugar. So, and I'm also gonna be using just a little bit of oat flour. Now what that's gonna do, I know that has more carbs in it, but we're only using a couple of tablespoons in this recipe. And what that does is brings out some really delicious flavor. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after this. Before we get into the recipe, I just wanna mention that you might wanna click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out. And we're always whipping up something delicious and super healthy. So we're gonna start our recipe by just, I'm gonna be putting things in the bowl and then I'm gonna tell you about the ingredients as we go, all right? So first up, I'm gonna be using some butter. We wanna get all of our wet ingredients in the bowl first. I'm gonna use a hand mixer and this is a half a batch. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe down below in the description of this video. Click down there where it says show more. So you want to soften your butter. I have organic butter here. And I'm gonna put that in the bowl along with the coconut oil. Now the coconut oil has solidified, so it's not a liquid and that's fine. We're gonna beat this up and I'm gonna get it nice and smooth. Now, once the butter and the coconut oil is nicely creamed together and smooth, then we're gonna add the date paste. Now the date paste is something that I like to use. I, I started um, using it a lot in a lot of different recipes. And I, so for example, I put it in my oatmeal to sweeten it up. It's a great sweetener. It's got a lot of vitamins and minerals and it doesn't spike your blood sugar. So that's why I really like it. And it just tastes good. It, it lends itself to this recipe super well because um, it's, it's got a caramel-like flavor. So it just fits right in and it's beautiful. Once we got the uh, mixture all combined, then we're gonna add our egg. And I'm just gonna toss in some vanilla extract. Use the real stuff, don't use imitation. This is so much better. And we'll mix that up until it's all combined. Now for our dry ingredients. I'm using almond flour, but I'm using blanched almond flour, like this one here. This one's from Trader Joe's, and it's nice and fine, works great, all right? So you wanna use that as opposed to almond meal, which I think is a little bit more coarse. And then I also have my oat flour, which I talked to you earlier about. Let's see, I'm only using a couple tablespoons, which is about a total, maybe 12 grams of carbohydrates, so not too much, considering this batch will make about 14 cookies. Now, remember you can double it and that's not a problem. All right, so let's start adding those ingredients. And by the way, I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so you wanna do that as well. So I'm gonna to toss in the oat flour first and the salt, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this and baking soda. So we'll pop that in and I'm gonna blend it up. Now with the almond flour, I'm gonna be adding about a third of it at a time so that it blends in nicely. So we'll just toss that in and just start mixing. All right, so the last thing is our chips. Now I'm using Guitard chocolate chips. These are dark chocolate, so they have less sugar in them. And Guitard, in my view, is one of the best to use. I love their, their chocolate. So I'll just place those in there and just take a spoon and stir them up. So line a baking sheet with parchment paper, that way the cookies won't stick. And we're just gonna drop these onto the pan in little mounds like this. Now they don't tend to spread out very much, so you're gonna to wanna to help them a little bit, I think, otherwise they'll stay nice and tall. If you like them nice and tall, they're gonna be, you know, they'll stay that way. So I like to smash them down just a little bit. And then we'll bake these in a 350 degree oven 
for about somewhere between 13 and 15 minutes. Cookies were out of the oven at 15 minutes. That seemed to be the perfect time for these. And now I'm gonna give, give one a go. They're, they're cooled off a little bit, um, nice and soft. Who doesn't love a warm chocolate chip cookie, right? I love the flavor. The flavor is very, very good. That date paste, just that caramelized flavor just really fits right in, delicious. And the oat flour, gives it just a little more interesting flavor. I think almond flour by itself is a little bit bland, but I think that oat flour just bumps up the flavor quite a bit. Now I find that the best way to store these are in a, say a Ziploc type bag in the refrigerator, believe it or not. There's something about that. I like how it firms up the cookie a little bit and the chocolate is not really hard, but it's a little more firm. Try it out, let me know what you think. Try, you know, storing them out and then try storing a few in the fridge Compare the two and let me know down in the comments what you think. All right, so that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I do appreciate it when you take time out of your day to stop in here and watch my video. And of course, I love it when you leave me comments. So don't forget to do that. And please share the recipe for me. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.